Trump news. Trump faces warning from ex-prime minister. Quite unsettling, the former prime minister of Australia, Malcolm Turnbull, has cautioned Donald Trump about his foreign policy stance as the former president runs for re-election in November, with wins in early voting states including South Carolina, Iowa, Nevada, and New Hampshire. Trump is in a strong position to secure the Republican Party's presidential nominee and face off against Joe Biden in a likely rematch, many are concerned that Trump, should he seek re-election, will continue to ignore or downplay recent crises, such as the conflict between Russia and Ukraine. Last month, the special military operation in Ukraine, announced by Russian President Vladimir Putin and met with immediate condemnation from Western nations, reached its two-year anniversary, according to Turnbull, who was the leader of Australia's conservative Liberal Party. Trump has a history of attracted to dictators and tyrants and rattled every single cage, every single alliance during his four years in office. In a recent interview with ABC News in Australia, Turnbull expressed worry about Trump's potential handling of Putin. There is a lot of support for Vladimir Putin among Republicans under Donald Trump, especially among the party's conservatives, according to Turnbull. Personally, I've spent time with both Trump and Putin. Putin has Trump in his awe. Trump resembles the 12-year-old who meets the football squad at high school when you see him with Putin, as I have done on multiple occasions. My idol, during that time, Trump's actions surrounding Putin hit everybody and were really disturbing, he claimed, the unease was tangible, he remarked, in a response to Newsweek, Trump campaign spokesman Caroline Levitt addressed Turnbull's comments by referencing Putin's recent statements about his preference for Biden over Trump as the nominee for president in November, according to Levitt, America's enemies, including Russia, were scared off by President Trump's response when he was in office. Only the left-wing stenographers in the mainstream media who fabricate narratives about Donald Trump for a livelihood fail to perceive the stark difference between Biden's ineffectual strategy of relying on weakness and Trump's effective one of achieving peace through strength. The former president's detractors often pointed out that he praised U.S. enemies, like Putin, whom he deemed quite astute for his actions prior to the invasion. In the midst of the conflict, they have also expressed worry that several Republicans affiliated with Trump are condemning Ukraine and rejecting additional aid. Instead of sending the money to other countries, they think it should stay in the country. The tense relationship between Trump and Turnbull continued as Turnbull speculated on what the United States would face in the event of Trump's return to office. The terrifying issue is that for nations like Australia and numerous European dot nations, will we have to cope not only with the two dictatorships in China and Russia, but also with what Trump's America will look like," he remarked. The man at the helm of his party has abandoned the concept of democracy in its modern form, as we have seen, after Putin invaded Ukraine, Trump began to criticize him.